Rocking and roll. Welcome back to another podcast. Today we have another special guest with us. Do you want to introduce oh. yourself? <laughs> Hi, I'm India Moon and I'm from Brighton. Is that <laughs> That's perfect. That'll do, that'll do, yeah. <laughs> India is um, an Instagrammer. Yeah. Is that what you would call yourself? Instagrammer, yeah. blogger? Always, yeah, Instagrammer, blogger. Yeah. Probably at the moment. Instagram's your main platform, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, massively. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? Um... I want to say a year and a half. Yeah. But I stopped for a bit when I started. Okay. So I, yeah, I started and then I did about three, four months. And mm-hmm. then I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to stop for a bit. I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Like, really? it's right. Not yeah. sure if I want to continue with it. And then I had a bit of time out and kind of just messed around with photos and things like that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually like launch my blog. So that's when mm-hmm. I started like WordPress blog type yeah. thing oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, and did more writing at the time and then I really enjoyed the writing back then when I had a bit more time so yeah, I think yeah. that's where it started and then I just went into photos and fashion yeah <laughs> on Instagram yeah, your wow. Instagram's so good though oh thanks really like it's, so, it's like the dedication you put into it because you post yeah. three times a day yeah and it's a different outfit every single day which like completely baffles me because I don't know how you <laughs> manage to have 30 outfits a month that are different like it's yeah, crazy yeah I worked that out the other day it's about 72 outfits uh, for three months wow months and I was like what like where am I going <laughs> like where are yeah. literally crazy from? and do, do you buy all these or do brands help you out um, with that or at first it was buying and mm. was luckily Miss Selfish were like my first brand that I worked with and so gifting from them was like my heaven yes (laughs) um but I worked at Topshop so Topshop was where I got like all my discounted clothes so majority of my clothes back then were all Topshop yeah yeah yeah. which was like ideal um and then yeah and then it just kind of slowly started to become a bit more collaboration stuff and Mm. at the moment luckily I'm not actually buying anything so which is really nice (laughs) Um, obviously I buy like the odd thing if I feel like that's kind of an outfit I want to try out and obviously yeah. it's my own style yeah but usually brands that you have quite a lot of leeway with what you choose don't brilliant yeah, yeah, so yeah, you've brought, you built your audience up are you on 18 something thousand yeah 18.2 yeah. yeah and so, that's quick like how it's yeah, grown like from yeah. 10k which wasn't that long ago it feels so slow for me really yeah no, it's no, no. really weird for me it's like I think to 18k maybe not that's mm. gone quite quick but to 10k was very slow mm. yeah. I remember being like god okay like will it ever go anywhere but then you just have to remember to have fun with it yeah you? that's Definitely. it and not worry yeah. too much about the numbers yeah. oh yeah. I don't look at them no. really honestly yeah someone yeah. said the other day oh you've hit 18k and I was like what like, have I yeah have yeah. I like I yeah, haven't yeah. looked like I don't want to look because otherwise then I obsess about it yeah work yourself up and yeah, it's like it the likes well. and obviously all of that is nothing you can do. You yeah. can't, well, obviously you can engage, but you can't control yeah. any of that. What do you think about the engagement at the moment? Because a lot of people are sort of talking about the algorithm and it not being as good as it yeah. maybe has been before. I've noticed a definite drop in it. It's yeah. Be, yeah, it's been a bit crap for me the last few weeks and then yeah. it fluxes and becomes really great again and then goes down again. And is that likes and comments? Or yeah, not... likes massively yeah. for me. It can be really? really varied. And I think with the fact that I post three times a day, it's challenging challenging anyway because obviously that's the way I post and I've been trying to work out whether three times or two times is okay it visually looks great doesn't it having three but then I guess it's the same outfit three times it's I mean if people are expecting it yeah yeah do do the same yeah I think you're gonna say do the same people who like the first photo like the third photo sometimes yeah Yeah. and then sometimes people miss the middle photo so Ah. they miss the second post of the day and then I try and obviously make the images different yeah, or course. different angles or close-ups which is what I'm kind of experimenting a bit more with yeah. now but I think a lot of the time people are like oh I didn't see that and yeah. that's because it's posted at one or 12 and then and is it the same kind of times each day like yeah the morning middle I, of the day and the evening one yeah it depends on the day so mm-hmm. like weekdays 8 a.m every morning works mm-hmm. best for me and yeah. then weekends like 11 yeah like people everyone's... are waking up yeah. later yeah <laughs> like Saturday yeah. morning who's gonna be up at eight yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um Possibly. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well yeah but yeah other than us literally um yeah up at seven like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, posted, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally but no engagement's been a bit slow mm. i think I notice when I engage a lot that I do see a change, mm. um, but it's such a lot of effort when you're working on a lot of other stuff. I think. Oh yeah. And with like university, I just can't wait to finish. To... Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. a student as well. Yeah. So what, what are you studying? <laughs> um, I'm studying digital film production. Yeah. Um, cool. Which is cool. Is that at Brighton Uni? Is no, it? it's in London. Oh wow. Um, right. So it's at a university called SAE Institute, which mm-hmm. is like a really small private institute. Yeah. That basically does film audio music um based stuff but don't go there oh no really? why <laughs> um 
we're at, yeah we're just in the process at the moment of like going for a lot of complications with them so really? to anyone that wants to go to that uni don't do it in london really? yeah like do you mind elaborating avoid. yes i i avoid yeah um yeah. basically they the course that we've been enrolled on yeah. what they kind of offered to us wasn't what we expected um as soon as we started our teacher left so after two weeks that was that like, helps yeah that yeah. helps yeah. great um and then a few weeks after that like it's just been lack of teaching mm. they haven't taught us what we needed and then about six months ago we lost like both our teachers decided to leave who were in the industry oh, and wow. because of just how like badly run it was I think uh, um, yeah. management were fired so for my dissertation we've had no support oh that's awful isn't so, it it's interesting and that's that brings on to a good topic actually because yeah. we uh, always chat amongst just ourselves even off podcasts and stuff about like um, schools and universities and stuff mm. and other opportunities you can now create for yourself online yeah. and stuff like that yeah. so were you doing like Instagram and stuff bef- um, when you decided to go to uni no so since like year nine I've been like oh I want to do media I want to do film and originally I was like I want to be a producer so I took two years out to kind of be like what do I want to do travel Mm -hmm. a bit and then I was like oh do you know what like I might as well see if there's a university that suits me so I looked for a long time and found one that was two years instead of three years and Mm -hmm. I was like that's what more for me because it's quite intense and means I can get it done and like I think with that industry it's a lot about working your way up yeah um, Yeah. and kind of like hands-on experience so for me it was going to this uni to kind of get that hands-on experience and learn a bit more about like all the areas because mm. film's yeah. so big and yeah, I don't think course. you obviously when you're going into like doing the camera work or the film work I was never like okay I don't know what the lighting people are doing and I want to know what they're doing and I want to know more like a bit about what every like aspect like of the costume design mm. and things like that so that was the reason I went yeah. um originally and kind of to meet new people and stuff like that but I feel maybe the two-year intense course has been more challenging than I expected. Yeah, okay. um, crammed in. Yeah, yeah, like crammed in and commuting to London's been hard. Mm. Um, on top of like falling into Instagram, I think yeah. my kind of lack of motivation at uni because of how it's been mm-hmm. has pushed me towards that, which is also like a really nice thing. Yeah, also... so, is it, so is what you're studying and what you thought you wanted to do when you started, is that still what you want to do? Or have you kind no. of, really, yeah, yeah, I thought you were going to say yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> um, I still want to do film. I still want to do like, videoing and travel content which yeah. is originally when I started I was like I always want to go and create awareness yeah. videos and do that which I will do yeah. <laughs> um but going from like producer I don't want to do producing no. um not at all I don't think um I want to try like creative directing mm-hmm. but maybe on like photo shoots and styling so yes. that's how it's kind of gone yeah, that yeah. works well with yeah. Instagram doesn't it I suppose yeah exactly so I think for me that's the change yeah whereas... and are you working anymore no or sorry. is it just Instagram yeah yeah, it's amazing. yeah. <laughs> um yeah I decided that with my dissertation work that I'm doing just because of like the lack of support I think I think with any uni people like have lack of support and there is mm. it's not really there but mm. I think for me I struggled massively being like dyslexic and finding writing really challenging yeah. that I've been like okay I need to like drop one thing if I want to yeah. focus on yeah. two things rather than like I think you dropped the right one then yeah, yeah I dropped then yeah, yeah, the retail. Retail. <laughs> yeah. I think there's um, so many people now who want to get into um being creative or whatever yeah. whether that's on Instagram YouTube and stuff like that and they don't in our opinion that you don't have to go and study it mm. you can just do it you yeah. can just start yourself mm. um create opportunity for yourself almost out of nothing yeah, yeah um definitely. would you kind of agree with that yeah definitely yeah. it's pretty it's pretty amazing that you can do your own thing and step back and kind of create everything mm. in front of you. And you kind of become your own business, like, yeah. in itself. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I love that. I love Completely. being my like own Personal brand. brand. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people, I think for me, one of the challenging things is that when you're going into it and you're growing, yeah. um, a lot of people don't understand the amount of work that goes into it. Oh yeah, and yeah. That's we get that. We do, lot, luckily, don't, we? don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah no. And I think when you're in it, it's great. And I love what I do but mm-hmm. I think a lot of people don't realize the amount of time they just oh think gosh, they just think you're taking a photo yeah. putting it on Instagram yeah. that's it yeah 100% done. Yeah. get free stuff yeah get sent it yeah. and then um, get to do this and actually it's like the whole brand pitching and I think I spend the majority of my life on emails yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, I, which yeah. is fine because yeah, it's exciting it's what you want to do and yeah. it's for you isn't it but I think a lot of like a lot of my um for, I can't say who but I've had yeah. people comment to me and say Oh, like, so it's just free shit and you just get to post it. And I'm like, oh, oh, like, yeah, yeah like, that's not cool. We've had that before. Like, like, people often, like, oh, so 
that must be really like they kind of well, they, try and jump in on it well, say, yeah. and then and then they realize that they're not because they haven't built anything up or put the time in they just want to do it for the free stuff mm. and then in a couple of weeks they're gone and they're not doing it anymore because yeah. they're like oh well it's not as easy well as they call you thing. lucky do you get that lucky yeah, yeah you're yeah. so lucky but i do feel lucky but i also feel like oh, you've created it yeah, yourself luck. it's yeah. not luck you've, you've put, not stumbled upon it and it's like oh that someone sent me yeah. something for nothing like you've put work into yeah, it 100 like i do know yourself. that i've put the work in and mm. i know that i feel like when i've sat down with like my boyfriend and like close friends they can see what i'm yeah. doing and i'm sure the same with you guys like people mm. around you yeah. who are watching you guys do it i mean yeah. even yeah. i can see it and i'm yeah. just sitting there yeah. watching you yeah. guys yeah. do it but um yeah i think a lot of people don't really take that into consideration do they no. um and a lot of people say to me like oh how do i get a free bikini I'm literally like, oh, yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> do something yourself about it i yeah. don't know what to say to that yeah. i'm like oh i don't know it's a bit more complicated so you've got looking yeah. through your comments and stuff mm-hmm. you get a lot of positive really positive comments from other yeah. pages similar to yourself or other people doing a similar thing to you and stuff yeah. do you get much negativity because obviously people that social media gets a bad press yeah um and often that we've got our own opinions about that mm. we, we're kind of like of the mindset just choose what you consume consume yeah, stuff that makes yourself. you happy yeah. and that mm-hmm. motivates you and all that kind of stuff 100%. so do you get much negativity on your content i've only had one negative comment really wow. yeah That's which great. is like been in private message which yeah. i've been like really lucky to have and i don't even get like weird guys at all really? Really? so i'm really what That's am i lucky. doing wrong <laughs> <laughs> no I'm li- it's weird like uh, That's crazy. i've never had any of that i think it's because it sounds really awful but i do go through like who follows me and yeah. if i'm not feeling like happy with that a guy maybe spamming an account mm. like i will block them oh, okay because i don't that's good want that on my page so you go through eighteen thousand. no people. i don't <laughs> i wish but like if now and then like yeah. i'll sit see, and like yeah i'll yeah, see what's yeah. coming in and obviously sure. i don't just want spam people who no. are spamming me and like yeah. you get the odd like weird account like fake yeah, account you're like yeah, yeah. hold on yeah yeah <laughs> what's this, this real? about yeah. yeah um but yeah no so negative comments only one um that was actually about my like what I was promoting about body confidence okay. um on my page and I did a post it must have been like three weeks maybe even longer like a month ago yeah and um I think I was just saying about feeling okay in yourself and yeah. not actually knowing that people have their own insecurities and just because of the way they look I think a lot of the time everyone's promoting um obviously body confidence and embracing being like having curves and stretch Mm. marks and things like that and I think that's incredible and I love that and I think more needs to be like all body types as well and I think that needs to be like kind of created a bit more as well and make people realize that I think even looking at my Instagram you might think Mm. oh she's fine like she's five foot two and petite Mm -hmm. and that's all right and then it's like actually there's a lot more to a person that you don't like I only see not like you guys yeah, see. Yeah, like yeah. no one else is going to look at me and go oh god she looks like that but yeah. in my head that's what I was feeling so yeah, I posted a caption saying that and um someone messaged me saying how can you say that though you're tiny you're really skinny and you've got this many followers <sighs> yeah. and you post yourself every day and I was like I completely get like that's how it comes across yeah um and I, I did respond, but I didn't respond in like a bad way. I was yeah. just saying like, I really like understand where you're coming from, but I think there's a lot more to what comes across on Instagram. It's only 10% of my life. Like, exactly. And like, exactly. Yeah. And surely like if you weren't like, if they're saying that, saying, oh, you, because you post yourself. Yeah. If, if it was that you were not happy with yourself and then you're saying, I'm not going to post because I'm not happy with myself. Yeah. Surely it's a good thing that yeah, you're posting like, I think and it's putting also stuff the out clothes, there. Like I, yeah. it's, when I do the photos, I'm not... I don't, I kind of like don't, I'm not really in myself. I'm kind of like, oh, well, I'm actually styling this outfit yeah. that I love. And like, Absolutely. I'm creating like the location, the yeah. area, yeah. and then like editing the And you just happen to, like, to be in the photo colors. with yeah. it yeah, 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 yeah. I happen to be wearing the <laughs> yeah. outfits, um, which is fine. And obviously like, I, I don't, wouldn't post a photo that I necessarily think was like terribly awful, and which is what mm. I'm trying to like, kind of work out and doing more edits that are natural and yeah. not posting as much stuff that I'm like, okay, I don't like that, but I'm not going to post it when actually it's probably fine. And yeah, yeah, like yeah. a laughing one is fine. And yeah. like having a hundred chins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 laughing yeah. Okay, yeah. Completely, completely normal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess it's just people's opinions and that made me go, oh God, that makes me sad that yeah. I do, like I may come across like that on... But if you've only had one message. Yeah, only yeah. <laughs> yeah. one message. Yeah. No, exactly. It's like, um, we've got a friend called Binky who, mm. I don't know if you heard Binky B on YouTube. She's, oh, um, no. she does a lot of like relationshipy type stuff, doesn't she? Yeah. Like nice. really like honest chats. Yeah. And um, she's been getting a lot of hate recently on her Instagram mm-hmm. for putting like fitness, like, w- uh, like not workouts, but like photos of her in the gym and things. And she's yeah. quite, well, quite slim, isn't she? Yeah. And quite small. 
and um, people are messaging her going, why are you um, promoting going to the gym? Um, because she's skinny. like skinny. But surely, yeah. like it doesn't matter. Like you don't have to be going to the gym to lose weight. Yeah. It could be just good for you and you're toning up, or yeah. you're. It's just a Which, healthy it's thing a to do, thing isn't it? To it's do. exercising. Yeah. Yeah. So why is she then getting hate for doing that? When it's, looking after her body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't know. get it. People are always going to have an opinion. Yeah, and of course. I think that's something you have to kind of pick yeah. and choose. I like think what it, you see and... it reflects their insecurities 100%. more than the person they're um, yeah. attacking. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I and then that's also, I guess, another reason to. Uh, which is why I replied because I was like, yeah. I feel really bad yeah. that you're feeling like that How to towards. Towards, yeah, towards. Yeah, like almost. I just was yeah. like, I feel I don't want anyone to feel like that by looking at my photos and go, no. okay, crap, like I want to be her. No, you yeah, don't want to yeah. like yeah. live your own life yeah. and kind of do that. And again, like with the gym thing, I think a lot of the time I was like, oh, like, I'd like to go into fitness stuff. And then mm. I was like, I don't know if I can take on that opinion from like the world yeah, <laughs> right yeah, now yeah, yeah. because people do have an opinion and I don't, I'm not the body I am just by not doing anything because mm. I do go five times a week. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like I'm yeah, not yeah. just sitting around. Well. Yeah, yeah, so that's another thing that I'm not like, I'm just lucky to have mm-hmm. this body. Like, it's yeah. like, no, I actually do eat, watch what I eat and yeah. work out. And like, I have to do that for my mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, not just like, for Instagram. Yeah, yeah, and it's not for any of that. It's just for me. Mm. So, which is why I haven't shared any of that yet. But no. that's just my own personal, like, yeah. just do it for myself yeah, <laughs> for now. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Completely. No, I get that. So you're, yeah. you're, how fussy are you with your content? I think we saw a post from you that said you might take over 100 photos. Oh, Did you say that? I Bef- take a lot. Before mm. choosing the one that gets posted. Yeah, so what I do, I'll tell <laughs> you my process. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> um, so I will shoot six outfits one day a week at the mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. Um, so I plan all the outfits and usually majority of the co- like locations and like where I'm going to do them in my head. And then, say for example, like yesterday, went out, spent about seven, six hours doing that, just because yeah. it was a bit more slow. I kind of took my time yesterday, wow. yeah. Um, yeah. and took those photos, um, and then got home. I put, say, one outfit. I might have two hundred images for mm. one outfit, just wow. because a lot of the time I'm moving, and I like to have like whoever's photographing me to kind of spam it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, um, like often it's yeah. like you love how your like leg looks or something. You're like, oh, why is my eye shut? And it's like, oh, you've not had another <laughs> yeah. one around it. You just yeah, have to so snap it's loads. just like little snaps in between. I think, yeah, like doing that. Then when I do like my walking and movements, kind of yeah. looks a bit more candid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, do that, and then I filter through, and she's about. 15 yeah that I will then put onto my phone and yeah. I'll edit them and if it's for a brand like at the moment I tend to send the brand like unedited versions of that outfit just to say like here's that if you want it for and your they socials can change how yeah. like, it looks for their sort 100%, of page and stuff. Yeah, yeah like no one's gonna want my edit for their socials all the time because sometimes I do them quite bright yeah we're yeah. the same aren't we? yeah we're the same. same everyone's got their own Yours style a bit darker mine's a bit ridiculously saturated but, that's but I like no I love your edits that's so cool no I love Thank them you. but yeah no some brands are like oh can you send the unedited so yeah. I send them over and then I'll choose I mean at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of swipes yeah, <laughs> yeah. just because of like it's different... nice though, yeah. isn't it? so yeah. um yeah I usually pick about 15 and then mm-hmm. maybe go down to like six yeah so yeah just have that on my phone my whole camera album is yeah, just, yeah. Like, yeah. a bit crazy yeah the odd picture of like my dog yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then me <laughs> yeah um but yeah so and yeah. what app do you use to edit your um, photos? So I use one called Airbrush, mm-hmm. actually, just to lighten or darken the photos. Yeah. So okay. it, there's a magic in the corner and mm-hmm. that you can do darken or lighten. And yeah. then it also kind of like glows the photo. Oh, nice. So I use that for that. And then I go on to, I'm trying to remember, Lightroom. Yeah. 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 Use my like preset, which I kind of just make up mm. okay. as yeah, I'm yeah. going. Yeah, like, yeah I kind we of kind of, just, of do really Yeah, as well. add them as I go. Um, and then Snapseed if there's like a weird cup dropped on the floor or yeah. something yeah, yeah. Just make it look a bit cleaner. I was like editing out a cup I was yeah. Like, yeah. someone in the background we don't want you there yeah. how, how long will you spend editing one photo like two seconds yeah really. I did like seven on the way here on the train yeah, oh, really? yeah wow. I just like because I it's kind of like I'm a robot I'm like just keep going yeah, yeah it is a bit because you want it all to look consistent and yeah. like within a theme so you I don't want to put too much time into one and then it looks nothing like the next so you want to just have it all very consistent yeah don't that's you? what's challenging actually yeah. Yeah. with like lighting on a shoot yeah if I'm doing like long shots and then close-ups and say it's been raining or sunny and light changes the yeah, edit for that hard, when you're posting it? in free is like oh, okay like, yeah. you put it up people are like, gonna nothing like <laughs> I'm like, gonna have to delete that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So I have, yeah, I've tried to stick around like one preset, and I've kind of experimented. Yeah. But 
I find a lot of people prefer a bit more natural with my presets. Yes. Like yeah. when I've done like polls on it. I think when I was in Mallorca, I went like crazy. <laughs> I love <laughs> with it though. The presets, I was yeah, like, yeah. I love this. Like yeah. I've yeah. changed the color of like the sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. So then. I'm Each location like, has its own look as well, doesn't it? If you're abroad, yeah. Yeah. So your photos are suddenly going to look different. I love holiday oh, I just want to go in look so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, honestly, I look at my Instagram, I'm like, God, why can't I just do my travel yeah. content It's the best, now. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you've grown, you know, you're growing nicely. You yeah. found success. You're making money. Brands yeah. are paying you to post their clothes. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm like, it feels so weird to say that. Yeah. 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 Does it feel it's like amazing. a job? Yeah, at the moment. It does. Yeah. Just because of how full on it is, the hours you're putting in. Yeah, I think since I've left retail and like working mm-hmm. at Topshop, I've tried to promote myself and pitch myself quite a lot more than I was yep. just because I was like, right, I'm going to like go for it. I obviously yeah. need to earn money. Yeah, 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 <laughs> um, and uh, it's been challenging. Uh-huh. And I also have so much respect for people that go full time in yeah. this because it is so daunting. Yeah. Um, and for me, I kind of feel like my comfort blanket is being a student at the moment mm-hmm. um, and having like my loan, <laughs> yeah. Um, which yeah, is sort of like just keeping me afloat at the moment. Mm-hmm. And being freelance, I think a lot of the time I just didn't realize how long it takes for thing money to come in. Mm-hmm. So like sending invoices takes... It's often end of the month, isn't it? And things I and... haven't received a payment in such a long time. Really? <laughs> really? Even though like I went through all my invoices and I was like, oh, like it's mad the time that it takes to come into your account. So it's kind of being stable, isn't it? And once that... you've started it, you're like, you're, yeah. it's like a rolling thing. Yeah. You need some sort of ready to go for next yeah. month. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I have huge respect for people that do that full time. So I reckon so many, so many people listening to this probably would love to be doing what you're doing, mm-hmm. what we do. Yeah. Um, is it still something, is it something you'd recommend still? Like, for, yeah, hundred percent, but not for the money and not, you have to love, you have to love the it. Process. Yeah. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. Not like, not for the money, not for like the clothes because it sounds bad, but I think after a while, like my love for sh- going out and shopping has mm. completely changed. Yeah, because your not- mindset's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So went from being like obviously going and treating yourself and like buying something and then feeling like yes, I've got something yeah. new, and yeah. then now it's kind of like oh, I spend so much time like styling and I do like so many mood boards when yeah. I'm like doing like the new in pages. Yeah. Um. So when I'm searching on like new in, I constantly will like do mood boards of different pieces and style them together like that. So yeah. that's where my love for it still is. Cause yeah, I'm still sure. like creating a whole look. Um, but I don't go out and shop anymore. It's different though, isn't it? Yeah. It's very different to how it has been, I suppose. I'm an online yeah. shopper. Yeah. Oh, I think I prefer online though. Yeah. I do. <laughs> it's like you don't have to be around any people, do you? Yeah. Like sometimes <laughs> I love it, but I always find that like if you don't find anything, it's like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. So how much but, of your kind of um brand side of it is you going to brands or, or brands coming to you um do you mean like hours wise like yeah or like percentage so like do you get do you get you loads get of inquiries yeah i get a lot of emails, yeah, you get a lot of emails. Yeah. um some i just reply and like obviously i check out the brand see whether it's something that i love or yeah. it's going to suit me and then i'll kind of pitch myself with my media kit if they fast for it or yeah. statistics and i think a lot of people don't realise you do that as well. Like yeah, the statistics yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. It's like working out percentages on everything you do and kind of looking at where your engagement and reach mm. is coming yeah. from. Um, but doing that, um, kind of pitch myself to them. But recently, like if I'm going away on a trip, so I'm going to Italy in September, yeah. I've kind of created a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, which basically shows my like inspiration for the trip. Um, yeah. What I'd love to create, and then like from my last trip, what yeah. I did create, and Brilliant. that's kind of what I'd send off, and I have sent off and said, "This is what I'd like to do. I'd love to do either sponsored content or gifting content. Yeah. Um, surrounding this, like, would you be interested? And then kind of just wait in here. And you've approached brands for yeah, that, I've that you like. Yeah, well, that's great because that's yeah. been like proactive about it. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? Like, no. when, I've did, I did a thing with a company on Instagram recently and it was just like a couple of photos, a post. Um, they paid me a certain amount mm-hmm. um, and they wanted some photos for their pages as well. Yeah. Um, and instead of just sending the photos, I, I like went on Keynote on my Mac and like yeah. put a nice background on it yeah. and put this photo here, a little bit of writing about it and just made it look nice. Yeah, it's just it's, giving a bit more to the brand, yeah. isn't it? And they think actually, yeah, it is worth the money and they, they feel a bit more like, oh. Yeah, and being organised and like, con- I think one thing is updating throughout yeah. when you're collaborating with a brand. Yeah, yeah just received it, yeah. taking photos today. Yeah. yeah, like 100%. And I think brands really appreciate when I'm like, right, so I've just shot it today, editing tonight, I'll send yeah. it tomorrow. Oh, we do that. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, just like signposting it and they think oh 
oh yeah that's yeah, good they're like, on we top know of where you're at yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah because yeah. your reputation is you isn't it yeah, yeah. your business is completely. you completely so if yeah. you can come across your like name. that then yeah that's... like if something doesn't arrive and you're like well i'm shooting today but it hasn't arrived in time just like letting yeah. them know because i yeah. think a lot of the time brands if a brand contacts me i know that if they're like oh where are you at i kind of feel like oh god I don't yeah. want them to do that. I'd rather contact them and say, okay, like, just so you, you know. Feel a bit bad. Just, you're yeah, like, oh. I'm like, yeah. I don't want them chasing after me for something. Yeah. Like, that's not what yeah. I want to do in terms of work. So. Yeah. So being being yeah. your own boss and stuff, being yeah. in charge of your time and all that, you yeah. you must love that. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm can, a bit OCD. <laughs> yeah. Can you see yourself working for a company, working a more uh, corporate job in the future? Can you see yourself yeah. doing that now you've had a taste of this? No, it's really, really yeah. scary. Mm. Yeah. Um, like from October, so I'm giving myself September off because my dissertation's due in like the start mm-hmm. and then I go away and then I have my birthday. So I was like, yeah. just have the month yeah. off from everything and Brilliant. just focus on Instagram. And October was kind of the month I was like, I'm going to look for something. Um, I just don't know what because I can't, I physically can't put myself through retail again. Yeah. I just, Would you like, not think that you can carry on with Instagram full time? I do, but just because of wanting to go away next year, for me having a set rate like income that's coming in to save for that um just so I know how many months I could technically do when I'm traveling and things like that I feel like it's kind of a good base okay so at the moment I'm debating part-time yeah like going part-time somewhere um but I do like the idea of doing like social media management yeah yeah, Um, yeah. but again that's so much work for someone else's brand when I'd love to be just doing that for myself yeah we kind of obviously part-time it you I think so, we're going to say the same I thing. We all forget yeah. it. It's like for the, for the time, say you work part time, what, like three days a week or yeah. something. That, them hours and three days, I feel like you could be like smashing what you're doing and probably earning more money yeah. and building yourself more. Yeah. And I know it's more of a risk, yeah. but it's, I'd be tempted to be like, you know what, don't do go part time. You've, yeah. you've, like you've grown so a... much with doing your dissertation yeah. at uni and you've done so amazingly with what you've done so far that when you're not actually having to worry about uni and putting even more work more, into yeah. it, like, I think you want, you've got such a good like work ethic oh, that I'm just like, go on, yeah, do it, do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. It makes go me so excited, it. yeah. And yeah. like other content, have you like considered? Did vlogging and yeah. YouTube and that I've done a look book, September. haven't you? Are really? you? Yeah, I'm doing yeah. it. So I go to Cornwall actually on the 28th yeah. of August and I'm tempted to just vlog that yeah. just for me, like just yeah. to see where it goes um, and trial that. And then September when I go to Italy, I'm going to vlog mm-hmm. like the full thing um, just as like that's a brand trip. Like yeah. that's a work trip in itself anyway. So yeah. it might be interesting for people to see like behind the scenes. Yeah, definitely. definitely. People love that. Yeah. I mean, that's why we wanted you on the podcast because so many people listening probably see profiles like yours on Instagram yeah. and they're like, how do they actually do that? How does that work behind the scenes? Why yeah. are brands sending yeah. them things? And so it's really, really interesting. I to get, get a lot of questions behind the as scenes. well. I get a lot of mm. questions about how much like payments and media kits and yeah. like all that. And I think that's one of the things that not a lot of people talk about. No. And that is for me, even like I sometimes have to really sit back and go, right, how much am I charging? Is this yeah. working out? Yeah. Am I being realistic? Because no one talks about it enough. So yeah. you're it's kind of in the dark. Are you quite shielded about talking about that? No, um, I can, yeah, it's just whether or not I'm, I always feel like, am I getting it wrong? But I do yeah. it at 1% of my following at the moment. So okay. 1% of like, so maybe like 180 per image. That's yeah. how much I charge at the moment. Okay, cool. But mine's quite complicated because I post free. Yeah. So, so it makes, at yeah. the moment okay. I'm right. trying to work out what I can charge because yeah. obviously I'm posting free of the same outfit and brands are wanting maybe that spread out over time. They don't just want one outfit yeah. and then in the same day. That's yeah. not going to give them enough coverage or engagement to what they're asking But then if for. they want you, they need to realise yeah. that because that's how yeah. you work. And so that's yeah, how I pitch myself. Definitely. Like you have yeah. to, I yeah. have to pitch myself as that is my branding. Like yeah. that is what how you work I, yeah how like i learned we, yeah. we how don't and I... um, we just put photos on Inst- you do you don't do videos on instagram no do you? i don't no. I haven't yet no. yeah no so we've had brands before saying like well we want we don't want a photo we want a video about the product mm-hmm. and we just say well no it's not going to work for us because our, our yeah. audience will be so alienated thinking why is she doing a random video it's clearly that they've sort of asked for this and it's, it's out of the order yeah. it doesn't look you've got right. to do something organic exactly 100%, it can't look you can't... like stuck in the middle of yeah. it yeah and... and like you can't do something that's not going to work like a lot of the time if a brand like contacts me and it's a product that I maybe would use but mm. I wouldn't share like mine's very fashion based yeah. and like I love beauty stuff as well and every yeah. now and then I might do like a selfie makeup picture yeah. but apart from that like it hasn't gone into that massively yet yeah. so I think I have to stick with like clothes as right now is Main. what I'm doing but I do from September onwards I have so many ideas really, really? yeah like my list is like ongoing can on you share list. a few yeah so um 
a lot more lookbooks and blogging yeah. um for me i've got a lot of backlog of like blog posts yeah. um for like a bit more mental health stuff actually um okay. i'm writing one about anxiety at the moment um just from personal experience and being quite lucky to have two parents that are therapists so oh, wow, yeah. i'm like got the That's top tips and yeah. advice from them a lot yeah. of the time and like support which is lovely um yeah. but there's so many people i've met that just don't know how to deal with anxiety yeah in always the right way or don't understand it and I think understanding it for me has been such like a changing point in like my life like mm. just mm. understanding what is actually going on with your body yeah, yeah. Um, have you suffered with that yourself yeah, yeah yeah so I think stress is where my like whole build up to anxiety happens yeah, um, yeah. dealing with stress and how my body goes into kind of like I kind of go overdrive mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't right. know if you guys get that with work sometimes yeah. you yeah. feel a bit like overwhelmed and yeah, stuff um, so for me kind of writing a bit more about that and my experiences and hopefully giving like, it's interesting because would you say social media is to blame for a lot of depression and things like that that's my dissertation, actually. Is it? Is it? Oh, that's interesting. Wow. <laughs> well, send us a copy. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to read that. Um, yeah, I'm doing social media effects on, like, mental health and really? uh, perception on our body image. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Learning a lot, actually, while yeah. I'm doing research. Yeah. Um, I think yes and no. Like, at the moment, it's amazing how many positive things are out there on social media that, like, I honestly follow so many inspiring, like, females and males that I'm like wow okay Mm -hmm. you've really like made me feel better just in reading a caption or listening to a video or something like that and then a lot of time I mean when I stopped when I first started was because I was comparing myself so Uh, okay yeah so was through being like am I good enough Mm -hmm. am I like is this worth doing like does Mm -hmm. anyone care like do I love it enough and yeah you kind of have to bring yourself back from obsessing over other people's journeys or images and be like right okay this is my own thing and I kind of see it as like my own little scrapbook and like that's and you can document your life on it yeah I do rant yeah Yeah. so like if anyone obviously wants to read that they can and that's fine if they don't I think that's Mm. the key point isn't it like choosing what you consume if people want to follow you they can follow you if they you know rather than getting annoyed we've had people getting annoyed at our content and like (laughs) almost like like, offended and upset and stuff it's like well just unfollow me yeah Um, I think that's such a key point I think social media it happens to be a platform where a lot of people are on but I think Mm -hmm. like that tweet you did the other day which about people um old you know older generations moaning about kids always being on their phones and stuff oh yeah and it being the first thing you look at when you wake up mm-hmm. yeah but it's just a way that people consume information mm-hmm. now like yeah. that generation would grab, grab the newspaper yeah yeah and it's, i know it's more interactive and stuff but i think a lot of people should just decide more what they and, follow and what yeah. they kind of consume there's yeah. so many positives as well like you said like you can spread the word about something like you see all yeah. these campaigns and stuff about mental health and the fact that people are like happy and more open mm. to chat about it like before yeah. you wouldn't probably put a facebook status up about it like yeah, a few years ago yeah you but instagram is more accepting and twitter and things because it's like yeah. again you choose who you follow and choose your circle and you can actually like spread really amazing yeah. messages and things i think and... it's having the strength though to unfollow and yeah, i don't think exactly. a lot of people realize that following all these amazing i mean travel bloggers i follow loads of them yeah. because yeah. i adore their content and like respect like it all and i love it yeah. and then there's a lot if you're looking at certain models that maybe for you personally maybe affecting how you view yourself yeah. i think that's you having to recognize that you're actually doing that and yeah. sometimes you can do it without realizing that like I can be looking at someone and I might say out loud like oh my god I wish like I look like that yeah or, and my boyfriend will be next to me like what yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. why yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like stop doing that and I'm and then when you say it you're like oh okay crap like didn't mean to yeah sit and do that yeah so, yeah I think it's kind of acknowledging that you can unfollow people and it's not anything to do with that person. Like, it's not their fault. It's their life. They're sharing what they want to share. It's not a personal attack to unfollow someone. And they're not saying, look at me, like, I'm amazing. They have their own insecurities too. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. And I follow so many different, like, models and there's one um, in Australia called Steph Claire Smith. I don't know if Mm -hmm. you follow her. Yeah. Oh my God, I love her. Yeah. Like, I've always followed her and I've, honestly her youtube videos about her body and stuff that she shared was probably the first person i followed and gone wow okay she looks like that but she's still feeling like she's got her own insecurities Mm. and it Mm. made me kind of realize like everyone has yeah everyone no matter what how perfect you think someone's life looks or whatever and at the end of the day instagram is going to be like 
maybe you at your best isn't it like yeah. it's like you would if you like didn't like the way your hair looked you'd change it before you yeah. took the photo yeah so I'm, people I'm, need to realize that you're not always not you personally but yeah. like people aren't always as amazing as they look on instagram necessarily are it's they? like our videos and stuff like yeah. our vlogs 10 20 minute video or whatever it's like such a small part of our day really yeah. we've chosen what stays in we've ended could be what arguments we don't want around yeah. it that people don't see and like yeah. It's, yeah. 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 And so I think a lot more people are sharing like the unedited yeah. raw stuff and there's a lot of people that do choose to share that on their platform mm. and yeah. that's great like showing like reality versus like exactly. yeah. reality and stuff like that which is great. Um and that for me I've always wanted to like go into but I'm just like how do I show the not reality when I, I think in some cases people like if someone looked at me for example and saw my not reality photos of me posing them I yeah. don't think that would be I think that could offend people yeah if, because that's my own insecurities and like some people I look at and I go wow like, that doesn't you are so brave to post that yeah, like, I yeah, think yeah. it's amazing but for me I'm always like am I like like kind of walking on eggshells if I do this because right. you have got to be careful it's crazy isn't it yeah because but... someone's opinion on me is yeah. completely different yeah so yeah it's one of those things where I really yeah I love that people do share it but it's I think my confidence right now maybe not for me to share but yeah, okay. I will yeah go into yeah. more like posts about yeah like just me and like mental health personal and like personal stuff, stuff that I've yeah. gone through and I think your audience yeah. like looking at your comments and stuff I think your audience would like appreciate that yeah hopefully. I think they would <laughs> I, relate yeah. to it as well I think you're very relatable oh thanks from, like, <laughs> yeah, your, your stories and stuff yeah, like that I you're hope not... so I try and just kind of be me yeah <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people that I follow like it's like they're in their own bubble when you think oh we just, like like I don't know it's, it's a bit like unrealistic because of some of the things but I feel like with yeah. you maybe because I know you but yeah, like I feel like, like it's like no isn't it when you yeah yeah someone. yeah but it's even before like with Max we follow I think I followed you a while ago on Instagram yeah. and we hadn't spoken until you came to like our event properly in yeah. real life had we yeah um but even with you I feel like it's always felt quite natural and not sort of fake and forced oh, it's quite sort yeah. of really nice like refreshing Try. almost and it's yeah <laughs> Try and keep it like just and me, um, so. ali as well who we follow i think yeah. she's like with her illness and stuff how yeah. recently she's been picking that and that, that's helped so oh, many yeah. people yeah. that's so inspiring yeah really absolutely is. incredible amazing. yeah, yeah. God, yeah, no, she's so lovely. Yeah, really lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, no, she works really hard as And well. that she shared that with her audience, had the confidence to do that. I know. And how many people, like, you see the comments, how many people that are having the Gonna same kind of thing going on. I know it's so important if you've got a platform. Yeah, mm. to spread the word. Yeah, to just Help talk people. about that. And, like, a lot of people don't, won't want to read that, and that's fine, mm. but the majority of people that you probably will help yeah. or even just be interesting for someone to read. Yeah. Like I did um, the poll saying like, would anyone actually want me to write about anxiety? Yeah. And some, and like, it was like, I don't know, 90% yes or yeah. something. And I was yeah. like, oh, I didn't realize that that was obviously so it's my opinion and I'm not a professional and I've got my mum and dad. <laughs> You're to, close who to I'm professional. Working, yeah. yeah I'm, close <laughs> to professional, but I'm working with them on the post at the moment Brilliant. to get yeah. their advice. But it was more that, like after speaking to people and being like god you don't realize like the actually it's not just like anxiety for example is not just to do with like what's going on it could be to do with trauma or your what yeah. you're eating or that you've been sitting down or standing up all day or yeah. can, there's so many different things that can like cause that and mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot of underlining for a lot of people like stuff that goes on that is mental health issues and that does cause this but it's also something that's not spoken about to be like okay enough I don't mm. think that like, people realize that everyone I'm, yeah. I don't I think I've met maybe all the people I've met over the last few months have had a panic attack or mm. anxiety attack and I'm like wow like didn't realize that many people yeah. went through that yeah and just didn't speak about it or just yeah. haven't ha been able to or just thought god am I like going crazy like why do I feel like this yeah and then so yeah so it's comforting for yeah. an audience to people who follow you or other people who talk about Hopefully. it to mm. kind of know that even someone who they look up to might be going through similar things that yeah they are. like I follow a lot of people that do that and who have big platforms and I'm like thank you for sharing that because yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's really helped me yeah and yeah. so hopefully I but I write it for me as well like everything I write actually helps me yeah. process something so yeah. Yeah, if yeah, I'm going through something I might talk about anxiety and it be like right god that's a, like a weight off my shoulders but that's only on my blog so people don't have to read it yeah and how often are you um, blogging not a lot at the moment okay um i did a post two days ago yeah that was just like a little fashion one um about like tips in front of the camera yeah, yeah. um but i have a lot like backlogged but i take a long time to write a post mm. um just i find it really hard to write mm. i think um 
my writing style is just a bit slower than a lot of people's mm. and yeah. I've come to terms with that I think it's been a bit hard to come to terms with that that I work at like a different speed in terms of like writing it will probably take me like a week to get something perfect if sure. I really like just did it every day yeah. whereas a lot of the time I'm kind of back and forth and kind of writing as I go on like the train yeah. or something. so is it, is it a smaller following over there or is it the yeah, same smaller. audience or I think it's smaller um I mean, I've done recently, like, looked at my statistics for that, and I think it's depends on the post and how much I've, like, promoted mm. it, depending on, like, the reads I'd get yeah. um, and things like that. I mean, when I started, I was posting, like, once a week on mm-hmm. there, and that was sharing stuff, like, even my travel stuff, I was sharing yeah. on there. Yeah, um, And that was just, like, sharing experiences when I did that. So that was the height of it then and I hopefully will get back into that like when I graduate it's just yeah, yeah. my dissertation is quite a chunk of writing yeah, yeah. Of so it's like break you know, writing right yeah. 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 You know, I'm typing enough yeah, <laughs> definitely. so what, what what's the plan for you then so you, you've mentioned about going traveling yeah tell us more about that yeah so um my plan is <laughs> um save from October mm-hmm. um and go in April next year I'm gonna go to Thailand so I start in Thailand with a brand that I work with mm-hmm. called Overdose yeah. Threads. Yeah, wow. so I went to Mallorca with them. Amazing. Um, she's actually one of my like really close friends now. So she owns the brand herself and she's kind of starting up doing like blogging trips of us. So getting like smaller influencers um, and people who are growing yeah. um, to kind of go on these trips and create content, which it's amazing because yeah. I love that um, mm-hmm. but so she wants to start in Thailand next year um, which I'm kind of like helping with um, so I'm going to do two weeks first and then I'm kind of going to go off I yeah. think by myself and hopefully one of my best friends um, but she's kind of just gone into styling so it mm-hmm. depends where she's at yeah um, wow. with her stuff because she's doing really well at the yeah. moment but my plan is to do that and kind of do travel content more um, like there's a rescue elephant san- sanctuary in <laughs> Chiang Mai yeah. and they I went there three four years ago I want to say three years <laughs> yeah um when I went and I was kind of blown away by mm. how bad the state of these elephants were in from like yeah. resort like trekking resorts and things like that and the family that I spoke to there they were paying um they were paying off these elephants that were like 50 grand per elephant to pay off um so I was like recommending all my friends to go um that went traveling I was like look into it like don't just go they might say happy elephant and like home but you'll go and actually they're not and yeah I think it took us about two weeks to actually find one to go to that we knew was rescuing them and yeah. was keeping them like not on a chain like no. yeah. they were in an area and yeah it's sad because they shouldn't be there anyway um but they kind of like opened my eyes to like getting more people to go and then unfortunately they one of my friends told me about a year ago they had to let go of one of the boy elephants because the circus wanted the baby one back but the baby and the mum the family didn't want to separate so they oh, had to wow. in like exchange oh, to that wow. yeah. just because they couldn't pay it off and this family are living in huts like yeah. I, and just it's everything's crazy. going to these elephants yeah. Um, so yeah that was a bit eye opening and mm. made me want to like go back and hopefully do filming or like yeah. footage for them to kind of raise money um, mm. so fingers crossed yeah. I can do that <laughs> yeah. that's um, great but that's like one of my first ideas going there and then obviously doing more like travel content mm. and kind of more experiences of what to do when you're there and I think a lot of the time when I first went to Bangkok I was like wow culture shock yeah Yeah. hold on like this is crazy (laughs) um and my friend was like right we're going to an island like we need to get you out of here yeah yeah Yeah. a bit mental and um and yeah it kind of allowed me to see like that it's okay to go away. I think a lot of people create a lot of scare to mm. going by yourself or going with one other person and that there's so much you need to know and actually it's so okay just yeah. to obviously be aware like you would be in London on a night yeah, out. Like yes. don't go and be like stupid. Yeah. But there's um a lot of like tips and tricks and I think learning about like the travel stuff out there is expensive to travel and mm. not a lot of people told me that. So yeah. for me personally, I was like, well, okay, getting to island to island is more expensive than people say um and kind of like vlogging that I guess and showing right. that you can it's it's fine it's safe <laughs> and like yeah. to enjoy all these places and there's loads of like yeah everywhere's changing I think a lot of, mm-hmm. I mean my friend just went back to um the place we went in Bali and it's been pretty much like all concrete like the beach is now concrete really? and she was showing me photos and I was like oh my god like, I was like heartbroken slightly yeah. for it and so you need to go and see these places I think, yeah definitely before yeah. all of that starts happening yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure. um 
So yeah, travel. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Travel. Yeah, hopefully, like, f- and then end up in Australia. Mm. And oh, okay. Do that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I don't know what's going to happen when I'm there, mm. but um, kind of I'm saying four or five months at the moment. I mean, I'd like to go Great. forever, but yeah. my boyfriend lives in Britain. So yeah. Oh, yeah. so you're leaving him behind, are you? Yeah, like we've done it before. Like we've done, I went away for like two and a half months and mm. he went away for three months and we've done that for our relationship and he's just about to start uni. So I've got to, yeah, got to go yeah. do my thing. He's yeah. got to do yeah. his. So exactly. you've just got to support oh, each other. that's cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, I'm going to drag him out there. Like, yeah, yeah. Summer, be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. Come oh, to Bali. Amazing. amazing. Oh, that's yeah. great. Well, like all the best, like good luck with yeah. all and stuff and thanks for coming coming on yeah i hope you've enjoyed it thanks yeah Yeah. just to end off yeah give um the audience some value who might want to start doing similar things to what you're doing have you got like one or two like top tips or Um, things to things to look out for or you know anything firstly it sounds really cliche but actually be yourself (laughs) um and take a step back if you feel like you're getting wrapped up in everything else and everyone else's journey rather than your own um and just go for it and yeah. love it. Yeah. Don't, and if you don't love it, then don't do it because it's no, there's no point. It's not <laughs> You've got to love it. So yeah. What's, what's yeah. your um, Instagram handle so everyone can um, go follow you? India Moon underscore. Perfect. Love an underscore. Yeah. We've got, I've got underscore, an underscore. Yeah. At the end of my name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's great. Thanks yeah. so much for coming. Thank you so much, guys.